Hello today's video we have the following content. An in-depth revelation of Bruce Lee's death. 42 years later, Ding Pei actively discusses the cause of his death, truth or justification. In order to provide you with a better reading and interactive experience and to see more content in time, please click follow. We will update wonderful stories and share different historical moments for you every day. July 20th, 1973. This is a day that countless kung fu movie fans are sad about a legendary kung fu superstar Bruce Lee died suddenly at the age of 33. As soon as this news came out, it immediately caused an uproar in all walks of life in Hong Kong at that time. Many fans of Bruce Lee couldn't believe that this world's strongest man who was invincible in the movie, died so young. Some people even thought that Bruce Lee was faking his death to hype his upcoming new movie. But as many authoritative media such as Min Pao reported this, fans knew that their idol really left them forever. For a while, speculations about why Bruce Lee died suddenly followed one after another, and the police also launched an in-depth investigation into the cause of Bruce Lee's death. Later, it was revealed that Bruce Lee's family and friends concealed his real place of death, making the truth of Bruce Lee's death even more confusing. So why did the strong Bruce Lee suddenly die? Why did his family and friends hide something? Is there a secret behind this? Let's see the truth of Bruce Lee's death. 1. Was it murder? The name Bruce Lee is known to everyone. He combined the strengths of hundreds of Chinese martial arts with Western boxing, Taekwondo, karate and other fighting techniques to create his own Jeet Kune Do, which opened up a world in the United States. At that time, many American fighting masters, such as boxing champion Ali and karate world champion Chuck Norris, praised him. He later entered the film industry and filmed many kung fu movies, all of which promote a Chinese martial arts, established a positive image for the Chinese people, and cracked down on foreign evil forces. Especially the role of Chen Shan in the movie Fist of Fury, he broke into the Japanese Budokan alone, defeated dozens of Japanese warriors alone, and kicked the plaque of Sick Man of East Asia. This classic scene inspired countless Chinese people. Bruce Lee became the pride of all Chinese people around the world at that time, a kung fu master and a national hero in people's hearts. He was the spiritual pillar of movie fans, and no one and nothing could defeat him. However, the shocking news that Bruce Lee passed away at the age of 33 was unacceptable to those who worshipped him as a god. They did not believe that the powerful Bruce Lee died like this, and there must be many conspiracies. The most widely circulated saying at that time was that Bruce Lee was assassinated. Bruce Lee had a very high talent for martial arts, so he was able to integrate the strengths of hundreds of martial arts to create Jeet Kune Do, but at the same time, he was arrogant like many young people, liked to compete and win, and provoked many enemies. The first was the underworld. If you have watched the TV series The Legend of Bruce Lee, you will know that when he was a child living in Hong Kong, his family was often harassed by the underworld. If you like watching Hong Kong movies, you will know that Hong Kong was in the most chaotic period at that time. It was a rampant era of collusion between the four major detectives represented by Lei Luo, the prototype was Lee Lok, and the four major underworld families represented by Lai Hao. Bruce Lee's father, Lee Haekwin, was a Cantonese opera actor. He had no power at the time. In order to have a peaceful life, he had to pay protection fees to the underworld. Lee Haekwin and Bruce Lee. The young and frivolous Bruce Lee did not want to be bullied, and he had a conflict with the underworld. Finally, he had to leave his hometown and go to the United States. Bruce Lee, who returned to fame, entered the film industry, but inevitably had to deal with the underworld. Because the underworld people would often go to the set to make trouble and ask for protection fees from the crew, for this reason, the martial artists often carried weapons and fought with the underworld at any time. So many people speculated that Bruce Lee was assassinated because he offended the underworld. But later, Chen Human, a veteran of the Hong Kong Underworld Organization 14K and a kung fu movie actor, who was also a friend of Bruce Lee, revealed that Bruce Lee had a great influence in Hong Kong at that time, and no one in the underworld dared to mess with him, and there was no possibility of assassination by the underworld. If it was not the underworld, would it be Bruce Lee's martial arts colleagues? In fact, each martial art has a school, and the grudges between the schools are very deep. After worshipping this master, it is usually not allowed to worship other masters to learn Kung Fu. Chen Human talks about Bruce Lee. But Bruce Lee had more than one master, Ike Man. In addition to learning Wing Chun, he also learned Western boxing, Judo, Karate and other 26 kinds of fighting techniques from all over the world. This is how he created Jeet Kune Do, and he also opened a martial arts school in the United States to accept foreign students as apprentices. 
whether it is learning other Kung Fu without the master's permission, or teaching Chinese martial arts to foreigners, this breaks the traditional rules. From the legend of Bruce Lee and the movie Ip Man 4, we can see that at that time, both the Chinese martial arts community in the United States and the Hong Kong martial arts community were very dissatisfied with Bruce Lee's approach. Even his fellow disciples in the Wing Chun sect sneered at him. There were rumors that if the Wing Chun sect wanted to recruit new disciples, the new disciples had to step on Bruce Lee's photo to enter. However, this was just a rumor. Ip Man never blamed Bruce Lee during his lifetime. At Bruce Lee's funeral after his death, many Wing Chun disciples came to mourn him. Their sad expressions were not false. Moreover, there was no relevant evidence to prove who assassinated Bruce Lee. This was completely speculation by fans. Ip Man and Bruce Lee. Later, the police also announced the results of Bruce Lee's autopsy. There were no scars on his body, so it was impossible that he died of revenge by gangsters or martial artists. However, many years after Bruce Lee's death, Someone jumped out and took the initiative to admit that he murdered Bruce Lee. Second, was it murder? The conclusion given by the police that Bruce Lee was not murdered has never convinced many people, because they think the murderer has a great background. As expected, a giant in the American financial industry revealed himself as the murderer. His name was Hu Bobby. The story goes back to the end of November 1958. In order to avoid his enemies, the 18-year-old Bruce Lee took the ferry Cleveland president from Hong Kong to San Francisco, USA. On the ship, Bruce Lee met Janet, the only daughter of Hubabi. Janet fell in love with Bruce Lee, a brave and confident Oriental man, at first sight and pursued him, but Bruce Lee always treated her as an ordinary friend. Bruce Lee studied in the United States, in order to be with Bruce Lee. Janet followed him all the way from San Francisco to Washington State University in Seattle, but Bruce Lee was obsessed with martial arts and was very cold to her. Janet had to return to her hometown in New York in tears. Four years later, Janet came to Seattle again to rekindle her old love with Bruce Lee, but at that time Bruce Lee was busy opening a martial arts school and dealing with challenges from all sides, and was in no mood to pay attention to Janet. After Janet returned home again, she announced to her family that she was pregnant with his child, but Bruce Lee refused to have her. Janet's brother Michael was a well-known American banker. He could not accept the humiliation of his sister and family, so he went to Seattle to ask Bruce Lee for an explanation. Unexpectedly, Bruce Lee denied the matter and said that he was engaged to a girl named Linda. Michael told his sister about it after returning home. Janet could not accept the blow at all and suffered from mental illness and was admitted to the hospital. Bruce Lee and Linda. In 1964, Janet, who had given birth to a child, was breastfeeding at home. At this time, a world martial arts competition held in Los Angeles, USA was broadcast on TV. It happened that one of the players in that competition was Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee made his newly created Jeet Kune Do shine in the competition, which shocked Janet and his father Hugh Bobby. Bruce Lee became a world celebrity, but Janet strangled her child and committed suicide by cutting her wrist soon after. Hugh Bobby, heartbroken, decided to seek revenge and Bruce Lee must die. After Michael obtained his father's consent, he found the Mafia and prepared to assassinate Bruce Lee. However, the Mafia took the opportunity to blackmail and asked Michael to help them launder 50 million US dollars of black money. Michael was enraged and planned to go to the police to surrender himself. As a result, he died in a car accident on the way to the police station. Because Bruce Lee made Hugh Bobby lose his two children, he vowed not to be a human being if he did not kill Bruce Lee. At this time, Bruce Lee was filming a movie on the set and fainted on the scene because of a brain tumor. Bruce Lee teaches boxing. So, Hugh Bobby wanted to accelerate Bruce Lee's death, so he found a highly skilled cerebrovascular expert and gave Bruce Lee a lethal drug BMN, causing his blood vessels to burst. The plan was implemented smoothly, and Bruce Lee was killed unknowingly. On the fourth day after Bruce Lee's death, he recounted his grievances with Bruce Lee and the process of committing the crime, and recorded it on a tape. In April 1993, after Hugh Bobby's death, the tape reappeared, revealing the truth of Bruce Lee's death. The book Martial Soul also recorded this matter in detail. Is the truth really like this? In fact, there are many doubts. Bruce Lee and others. Bruce Lee's love history was never mentioned by his family, relatives, and friends. Can Hugh Bobby's one-sided statement be taken seriously? Bruce Lee never participated in a formal martial arts competition, and only performed it in the show, so Hugh Bobby's description is not true. The police dissected Bruce Lee's body and did not find the drug BMN in his stomach. 
Bruce Lee had his own private doctor, and Hugh Bobby was not close to him. How could he poison him? So, this so-called truth is most likely just a story made up by some booksellers who want to take advantage of the popularity, and it is not credible. 3. Ding Pei and Bruce Lee. However, when everyone was speculating, someone discovered that Bruce Lee's family and friends had lied to the public. Bruce Lee's brother, Lee Hongshan, and Bruce Lee's wife Linda both said that he died at home after dinner at 5 p.m., but the ambulance was not called until after 10 p.m. Moreover, the person who called the emergency number was not Bruce Lee's family, but Bruce Lee's friend Raymond Chow. The ambulance did not go to Bruce Lee's home, but to the Bihu Pavilion at 67 Beacon Hill Road, Kowloon Tong, Hong Kong, which was the home of Shaw actress Ding Pei. So, Bruce Lee actually died in Ding Pei's bed at home. What is the relationship between Ding Pei and Bruce Lee? Ding Pei and Bruce Lee in the circle. After Bruce Lee's death, Ding Pei starred in a movie Bruce Lee and Me, in which Ding Pei played herself. She and Bruce Lee were underground lovers in the movie. Bruce Lee in the film seemed to be a slut who wanted to have sex with Ding Pei all the time. In the end, he took aphrodisiacs at Ding Pei's house and died suddenly when the two were about to make love. Such a movie completely slandered Bruce Lee's image and was severely criticized by fans. Ding Pei later admitted that she took the movie in a daze at the time and most of the plots in the movie were fictional. However, it is an indisputable fact that Bruce Lee died in her home. Although the two did not have the kind of relationship in the movie, they had an unusual relationship. Ding Pei met Bruce Lee through the introduction of Zhu Winhui. Zhu Winhui was the boss of Golden Harvest Film Company and a film producer who made Bruce Lee, Sammo Hung and Jackie Chan famous. At that time, Bruce Lee was working with him to make a movie. Precious color photos of Zhu Winhui and Bruce Lee. Zhu Winhui asked Shaw actress Ling Pei to introduce him to Bruce Lee, intending to let the two play the male and female protagonists in the next movie. When they met for the first time, Bruce Lee's wife Linda was also present. Ding Pei has been exposed to Western culture since childhood. She has an unrestrained personality and is particularly compatible with the confident and strong-willed Bruce Lee. The two hit it off and became good friends who could talk about anything. Bruce Lee often went to Ding Pei's house alone to talk about his feelings. Bruce Lee, who was always strong in front of the public, would show his vulnerable side when he saw Ding Pei. He frankly said that he had no freedom after becoming famous and had to be careful about what to say and do. He felt like a monkey in a zoo and was very tired of being chased by the audience all day long. But every time Bruce Lee had something unhappy, he would feel much better when he saw Ding Pei, telling her about his film creation experience and sharing his favorite songs with her. Ding Pei still keeps a tape that Bruce Lee gave her. Ding Pei and Bruce Lee, Ding Pei later admitted in an interview that Bruce Lee once confessed to her that he liked her very much. And Ding Pei also said frankly that she loved this outstanding man deeply, but felt that she was not worthy of him. The two have always maintained a superficial relationship as confidants. The reason why she made a movie that slandered Bruce Lee was completely confused. Bruce Lee's death in her own home gave her a heavy blow. That day, Zhu Winhui and Bruce Lee were discussing the script of the movie Game of Death at Ding Pei's home. Bruce Lee suddenly had a headache, so he took some medicine and lay down in Ding Pei's bedroom to rest. Zhu Winhui made an appointment with 007 Inches George Lazenby at the Japanese hotel to discuss cooperating with Bruce Lee on a movie, and then left first, asking Bruce Lee to go to him with Ding Pei after he woke up. Not long after, Zhu Winhui called to urge her, and Ding Pei went to the bedroom to call Bruce Lee to get up but he didn't wake up. Zhu Winhui rushed over immediately after learning about this, but no matter how he called, Bruce Lee didn't respond. The two realized that something was wrong and Ding Pei quickly found her personal doctor Zhu Bahui to treat him. After examination and treatment, Zhu Bahui shook his head and asked them to call the emergency number quickly. Bruce Lee's Funeral That night, Bruce Lee was pronounced dead in the hospital after failed rescue efforts. Zhou Win Hui was afraid that the news of Bruce Lee's death in Ding Pei's home would have a bad impact, so he asked his family to make up a lie. Ding Pei was already scared out of her wits. She could never have imagined that the man she loved so much died in her own bed. With the death of Bruce Lee, all the accusations were directed at Ding Pei. IV. Accident or suicide. Bruce Lee was killed by Ding Pei. This statement was overwhelming for a while. Some extreme fans of Bruce Lee even threatened to kill Ding Pei to avenge Bruce Lee. The claim that Ding Pei killed Bruce Lee is not groundless. Ding Pei's personal doctor Zhu Bahui said that after Bruce Lee had a headache, Ding Pei gave her a painkiller called Equagesic which is much stronger than aspirin and will have adverse effects on those who are sensitive to drugs. A friend of Bruce Lee, Du Hudong, 
a Hong Kong film producer, revealed that Bruce Lee was educated in the United States and learned the American way of increasing muscle through drugs. Bruce Lee's whole body is muscle, and his body fat is only 3%. In order to maintain his muscles and keep his strength, in addition to at least 8 hours of physical training every day, he also takes nearly 100 pills such as various vitamins, muscle enhancers, and acute nutrients. Because he took too many drugs, his internal tissues may have been messed up, so after taking aquagesic, he caused drug allergies and died. In other words, Ding Pei may have accidentally killed Bruce Lee. However, this statement is only the Hudong's subjective idea, because there is no accurate research result on whether these drugs and aquagesic really cause allergies, and it cannot be confirmed. As a conclusion. However, the theory of death due to drug allergy is the most recognized by the official. Some people blame Ding Pei for not calling the emergency number in time, and there is a hospital next to her house. Why did she send him to the Elizabeth Hospital instead of the nearby one, delaying the best time for Bruce Lee's rescue? Faced with such accusations, Ding Pei was also very aggrieved, because she and Bruce Lee were just ordinary friends at the time, and Zhu and Hui was Bruce Lee's boss. He also called Bruce Lee's family over. How could it be her turn as an outsider to make the decision? Moreover, she was frightened by the sudden situation at the time, but she had to bear all the guilt. But the audience did not buy her statement, and continued to criticize her verbally and even threatened her with death. In the end, Ding Pei could not bear the pressure of the audience's abuse and the psychological trauma of Bruce Lee's death, and she retired from the entertainment industry in 1982 and faded out of the world's sight. At this time, someone proposed a new idea, could Bruce Lee commit suicide? Before Bruce Lee died, the movie he was discussing with Ding Pei was Game of Death, a movie written, directed and acted by Bruce Lee. Does this title have any other meaning? In the movie, Bruce Lee reached the top of the Tower of Death and opened the treasure chest. There was no gold, silver or jewelry in the box, but only a note that read, Life is a process of waiting for death. Coincidentally, Bruce Lee's favorite song before his death was When I Die. In addition, the forensic doctor found a small amount of marijuana in Bruce Lee's body. Could it be that smoking marijuana made him depressed and wanted to commit suicide? But this statement was also denied by Zhu and Hui and Ying Pei, because Bruce Lee had just finished filming the movie Enter the Dragon in Hollywood at that time, and he was very attentive in directing the filming and martial arts movements on the set. Then he was full of energy to create Game of Death, without any signs of wanting to commit suicide. All the reasons are wrong, so how did Bruce Lee die? In the end, Ding Pei, who had been silent for many years, told us the answer. 5. The mystery is revealed. Many years later, when Ding Pei, who had recovered from her inner trauma, recalled Bruce Lee's death again, her answer was, very natural. That is to say, Bruce Lee's sudden death was foreshadowed. Ding Pei said that Bruce Lee was actually in poor health when he was a child and had a serious illness, so his nickname was Xiao Feng. Later, he learned martial arts to strengthen his body and changed his name to Xiao Long. Perhaps because of this, Bruce Lee was very strict with his body. In order to maintain a good figure and show the best state in front of the audience, Bruce Lee took too many drugs. All drugs are three-point poisons, and even the most powerful tonics will have an impact on physical health. And his diet is also different from that of ordinary people. Ding Pei was interviewed. Bruce Lee specially bought raw beef shipped from the United States, then put it into a juicer, poured in milk and seven eggs, stirred it evenly, and drank it all in one gulp. She also revealed a very extreme training method of Bruce Lee, electric shock training. It is to use the high-voltage electric muscle vibrator invented in Japan, connect the wires on it to the body, and vibrate the muscles quickly. This method is equivalent to training for 10 hours a day for 10 minutes, so as to achieve twice the result with half the effort. Yuan Hua, who was Bruce Lee's stuntman at the time, was shocked by him and said frankly that he did not dare to try it because he did not know how much load current would be needed. After Bruce Lee's death, Japan also banned this machine. With the help of drugs, diet, and electric current, Bruce Lee's already unhealthy body reached its limit, but he still insisted on doing intense exercises such as skipping rope and running every day. UN was interview. Bruce Lee is a god in the movie, but he is also a human being in reality. If this continues for a long time, his body will not be able to bear it. Under this high-intensity exercise, Bruce Lee's body is indeed almost perfect and every part of his body is muscle, but this is not healthy. You know, fat is a very important substance for the human body. The normal body fat rate of men is 6 divided by 14%, while Bruce Lee's is only 3%.
Two months before Bruce Lee's death, he fainted in the bathroom of the studio while filming Enter the Dragon. Fortunately, the staff found him and sent him to the hospital for emergency treatment in time, which saved his life. Bruce Lee, who had just walked through the gates of hell, thought he was fine, just had a small brain tumor and was not a big deal, and he even wanted to be discharged from the hospital to continue filming. Ding Pei didn't know about this, but heard about it from Raymond Chow and Linda later. Bruce Lee's friend Chen Hume mentioned above also confirmed this. He said that Bruce Lee had fainted more than once, and often had sudden convulsions and lay on the ground twitching all over. Bruce Lee's muscles. As for the reason, in recent years, Spanish experts have shown that it was Bruce Lee's long-term large-scale drinking of water and juice that disrupted the normal water balance in the body, causing the brain to swell rapidly and fall into a coma, or even death. Drinking too much water and juice is naturally because he exercises too much. In short, Bruce Lee's death was caused by his long-term use of various unscientific exercise methods, which caused too much damage to his body. Although Bruce Lee did make a lot of efforts to bring glory to the Chinese people, he is not a god, and ordinary people should do what they can. In the process of exercising in daily life, we must also adopt scientific methods to ensure our own health. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 